This video shows how to add second pressure switch on the compressor to make the compressor dual pressure. Right now this compressor works at 300 bar. Basically it cuts off at 300 bar and we are going to be we are going to be adding another pressure switch system to allow us to have the compressor stop at 200 bar as well when we need it. We need to open this front panel of the pressure switch and there are three wires blue, brown and ground. They need to be disconnected. Once you disconnect the wires, you can you can remove the wire. Next, we need to remove the safety valve. This is a 300 bar safety valve. We need to remove this. Next, we need to remove the pressure switch. In order to remove the pressure switch, we need to reposition this fitting so we'll have we will have enough room to, to take take it out. Now we can remove this fitting. Once we remove everything from the purifier, now we have to install this new fitting. New fitting has another insert here. This, the, the, the existing safety valve for 300 bar, it goes here. Now we inserted the new manifold with existing 300 safety valve in this position. Next, we have to install our 300 bar safety valve right here, just like that. Now the 300 bar pressure switch and 300 bar safety valve is ins installed. So these are connected to each other. If safety valve doesn't open for some, doesn't cut the compressor off for some reason, this safety valve is active for this pressure switch. We are inserting this selective valve and selective valve has a T here where the pressure switch goes and also the, the lower safety valve for this pressure switch, 200 bar. I inserted my selective valve and the next step is inserting the additional pressure switch right here. Basically, what's gonna happen now when I select this position, air is shut for this safety valve, so a pressure switch. So this pressure switch is activated. Com when the compressor, when the air in the purifier gets to 300 bar, this pressure switch will cut the machine off. When I switch it to this position, air is active for lower setting pressure switch. And when air in the purifier gets to 200 bar, this pressure switch will be activated, activated and uh, shut the compressor off. The next uh, step is doing the wiring between two pressure switch. We'll wire the original uh, pressure switch, one for 300 bars. So what we do is we need to connect one of the faces only. So I connected the brown one and the blue one, I'm gonna leave it out. Uh, Now we will serially connect the pressure switches between each other. So the new pressure switch, which is the 200 bar, we have brown and black wires are coming out. So this here will be connected to the, the, the existing pressure switch, the one for 300 bar. Okay, now the wire that coming from the compressor's electric box, I will connect the blue one on one of the terminals. For the other terminal, I will connect the black wire coming from the second pressure switch. Now I have two brown ones. I will connect these ones using an electric cap. So they have to connect each other. And these two ground ones, I'm just gonna connect them right here. 
on the ground spot of the pressure switch. The blue cable coming from the electric box of the compressor is connected in this terminal. The black wire is coming from the other pressure switch and I connected the two bronze together. And the ground, both ground wires are connected on this terminal. The wiring is completed as well. This pressure switch is 200 bar and this original pressure switch is 300 bar. When I activate the 200 bar pressure switch, compressor will cut off on 200 bar. When I deactivated the 200 bar pressure switch, only 300 bar pressure switch will, is active now and this will cut off the air when purifier is 300 bar. Thank you for watching.